You don't really know much about Halloween. Hello, and welcome to another Sinister Snacks. I'm your host, Laura. I'm Joel. And we're the Newly Dads. And we've got another snack video for you. This one is interesting. Where did we find this? Uh, this was found at Costco. We were walking down the aisles at the chips, which we always do. And um, we saw this potato chips, classic night market flavor, Taiwanese street food that is a uh, tapenaki flavor with this cute little, little potato guy. And this is a giant bag of unknown flavored chips. Like, I mean, I, tapenaki is the flavor, but... He's a little worried. You never know what you're going to get when you get a flavored thing. It's got a picture on the back to show you what the food looks like in uh, you know, real life. It has pictures of the chips. There's also pictures on the front, I just realized. So that was a dumb thing for me to say. Um, and, you know, if you buy a small little bag of chips and you're like, that's what the pumpkin's for. Um, Got you're a like, little sealy thing on the top. That's good. Uh, it's okay if you know you spend a couple bucks on a on a bag of chips and you don't like it, but we spent more than a couple bucks on these chips, and uh, it's a very large bag. Is it really that many chips inside? They look like ruffles. Yeah, they look very much like uh, they're ruffly flavored. It's got a cute little mascot. Doesn't really smell like anything. Doesn't really smell like <laughs> anything. Crazy. Like a flavor I've ever smelled. Yeah, they're just yeah little. A little ruffly. I like the I like these kinds of uh, ruffled chips better than ruffles flavored. The ruffles ones I don't like it, but I like this type where they're kind of a tighter, tighter ruffle. So <laughs> tight, tight cut. I like a tight rough. Here's the for you too. Mm. Made a weird noise in my mouth. I apologize if you heard that on the microphone. I'm gonna try it a couple times, you know. At first, it tasted like a Sunday roast. Mm-hmm. And then it built to like something sweet, and then it ends on like a what is that spice? Five spice mm. kind of taste. You know what I mean? Like a like a five spice, so it's like gingery kind Seaweed, of seaweed, chili pepper powder, fennel, pepper, fennel, um, coconut, ginger, garlic. Yep. Scallion, sesame. I mean, all those flavors. I feel like mm -hmm. black vinegar powder. It's uh, 160 calories for 15 chips. It's the ginger I'm tasting, <clears throat> I think. I think, I think. So, all right. Obviously, I, I'm continuing to eat them, so I must not hate them, but. I'm going to try another one. I've already eaten like six of these. And I can't decide what to think. As far as a ruffled chip goes. I like the, the the chew on it. I like the flavor of like the chip itself. It's a good good quality chip. It's not stale. It's not you know overly crunchy. It's just the right yeah. perfect ruffly type chip. Um, the flavor is pretty consistent as far as like every single chip I've had tastes pretty much the same as the last chip I've had. Cloves. <clears throat> oh, maybe yeah. That's what I told you. I was tasting like uh, five spice. But do I like it? I don't know. I don't hate it, and I would probably eat more of it, but would I buy it again? And I don't honestly know that I would. What do you think? It does say it has shrimp in it. So there's like a mix that says 
Mm. Seasoning blend, scallion, sesame, coconut, ginger, garlic, shrimp, chili peppers, salt, curry powder, <clears throat> coriander, cinnamon, fennel, red pepper, spices. Hmm. There are recent vegetarian converts. and uh, I know. And so I, I knew I was taking a chance, you we, know, with this having kind of like a shrimpy kind of stuff in it. So we're going to have to let that slide, but. Uh, I'm not actually eating meat. Correct. <laughs> But um, I'm not a vegan. I'm a vegetarian, we, but I'm open to being a flexitarian. I just haven't had meat meat in like almost oh, over two months. Hmm. So does this count? <laughs> it's literally not a shrimp. All right. Hmm. So, on a scale of one to ten, it's hard to compare it to something. I can't say that I've ever had Taiwanese street food. At right, least not in, you know, on the street per se. No, um, I've had plenty of Thai food in my life, um, and I've had plenty of you know various street foods, but nothing that tastes quite like that. But and like I said, I don't dislike it, but I don't know that I love it. I'm going to give it a five. It's like kind of in the middle. If you like, um, yeah, I think that's fair. Ginger, clove, um, like a sweeter kind of tasting chip because it does have some sucralose in it. So I, I'm guessing it's like sugary. It's it's a sweet flavor. You know what it kind of reminds me of is the dressing on a salad that you get at. Yes. At, a, at that type of a little restaurant. bit like almost like the um the ginger dressing that you get uh, on a salad at um when you look at that it, that's I, I think that i think that's, that's what, what that I'm, is what i'm getting is kind mm -hmm. of a, a salad dressing kind of situation where it's a little sweet but it's a little sour a little salty and that gingery like clove i told you like five spicy kind of yeah i think i'm i think a five is fair hmm. i would probably eat the rest of this bag but I don't know if I would buy it a second time. Yeah. So it's not bad. No. It's just not. not I just don't love it. Knocking your socks off. Yeah. Okay. But if they made another flavor with this particular type of chip that they've got is, they've got a really good quality chip. Mm -hmm. I would certainly try it. Yeah. All right. So where can they find us? If you'd like to find more of these videos, uh, you're already on YouTube. Just check out the rest of the channel. But if you'd like to find out more from us, including our podcast, our blog, our uh, upcoming events, etc. Just go to thenewlydeads.com. Put the link here at the bottom. You can go check that out. And uh, also be sure to like and subscribe our video. And if you happen to be in the Rockford area on uh, June 23rd, uh, stop by Wolf Hollow where we will be uh, having the postponed Summerween event uh, due to some really negative weather that's going to be happening here to, in the next couple of days. We've moved the event. Well, they've moved the event. Uh, um, so I'll put the information up here. You can come check out the now ultra rare, super limited edition poster. There's only 24 in existence that will be there that you can pick up uh, only at the event. There also is stickers that uh, Mrs. Newly Dead and myself have made. I'll put those up here if you'd like to take a look at those. Those will also be there at the event. So if you'd like to get them, please swing by. Um, or if you have any questions, comments, concerns, reach us at contact at thenewlydeads.com. And anything else that you have? No, except for thank you very much for watching and let's quit yagging and get back to snacking on these interesting chips. Yeah. Bye. Happy Halloween.